What's up, YouTube? So we're all about music here, bringing you another album review. But before I get to that, I have one announcement. I am going to be getting rid of the, uh, not completely, but getting rid of the track-by-track -track analysis of albums. I found that it's way too long. It takes the fun out of doing the album reviews for me. Um, I'll be saving that for iconic albums, and if you guys send me requests and you want me to do a track-by-track -track analysis, then I'll do it then. But for general videos, um, I'm not going to do it anymore. It's just, it's too tedious and it's too, it's too boring. And I, I, you know, I'm not going to expect you guys to sit through 10 minutes of me blabbering on about, you know, random useless shit. So, today, we're going to talk Melvins. Specifically, we're going to talk Bullhead. At least in 1991 on Boner Records. This album is sludge metal. It is sludge metal at its finest. It is just... I mean, the band just slowed everything way the fuck down. And they threw a shitload of distortion on, on Buzz's guitars. And, you know, it, it's just... It's a, it's a fantastic... And Dale Crover's drumming is just so heavy and, and emphatic. Of the of the of the rhythm and the slowness of the beat, I mean, he really emphasizes just the you know the the very small low tempo. It's just fantastic. Um, so originality eight nine somewhere in there. You can hear the Sabbath on here. Um, it's 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 very you know it's it's not ridiculously ripped off, but you can hear the influence of the Sabbath, and I think you can even hear a little you know you can hear a little influence of. Uh, the insanity, the kind of lyrical, vocal, I'm sorry, the kind of vocal style of hardcore punk bands that just use that kind of out of control singing. Um, you can definitely hear that on this album. Um, so, so originality gets around an 8 or a 9. Uh, how much I like the music? 10. This is my favorite Melvin's album. Um, I think it's their best album. Their, their discography is just ridiculously huge. There's a lot to pick from. You know, and there's probably something for everyone in their discography, but for me, this is my favorite album, so gets a 10. Um, flow and production, the flow is fantastic. I mean, you know, it, every every song is just, it's like, and it's a perfect, and none of the songs just seem repetitive of the last ones, and, any, and it just fits together so well. And production, I mean, it's just, this... This album is slow, but it has balls, man. It has fucking balls. And just, you know, it, it is just sludge metal at its finest. And the production really brings that out. It's a great, great album. So, both flow and production get 10. Um, the be My favorite song on here is Boris. And a lot of people I know that, uh, that I've talked to that have this album or have listened to it, Boris is their favorite track. It's, you know, it's... it's Listen, when I listened to this the first time through, Boris immediately caught my attention. I mean, you know, right away, it just, it was just, you know, it was sludgy, it was heavy, it had balls, it was everything I, you know, I didn't expect to hear that out of this album. Um, worst song on here, Your Blessing, just because I don't like the, uh, the drum thing at the beginning. I think it's a little annoying. Uh, I think it's kind of stupid. I think it's kind of, yeah, I just don't like it. Um, the end of Cow has it too, uh, so that little drum thing. Ugh. There's one thing that I do want to say about this album. Listen to the bass line on It's Shoved and tell me that Kurt Cobain did not rip off that bass line to write Milk It. Listen to that and tell me that he did not rip that off. If you listen to It's Shoved and that bass line, that opening bass line, and then you listen to Nirvana's Milk It, that, that, that really raunchy guitar riff that Mike Kurt plays, they're almost exactly the same. So that's all I have to say for that. Um, so yeah, Melvin's Bullhead, released 1991 on Boner Records. Fantastic album. If, you, uh, if you're into heavy metal, check these guys out. Um, they're definitely worth it. I, was a heavy, I, you know, I still am a heavy metal fan, and uh, I got into these through Nirvana. These guys through Nirvana, and they're you know, better than any metal I've ever listened to. So, yeah, go check it out, specifically this album. Um, Houdini's another good album. Ozma is a good stuff. Some of their later stuff, especially the more recent stuff, I'm not too too big on. I think it's, I think they just kind of lost the, the sludginess of it and just became a metal band. But, you know, that's just my opinion. So, this is Sir All About Music. Leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you like, what you didn't like. Feedback, please, 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 guys. I've been getting little or no feedback, and it's driving me nuts. 
So, that's all I have to say. I'll see you guys next time.